booga booga. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Hi, I'm back. And my cat is meowing. Fuck off. I'll give you some food later. Okay, anyhow, yes, I know this isn't Resident Evil 2. But don't worry, I didn't stop with the LP. I'm just taking a little break because I just gave you guys like 5,000, over 9,000 videos of Resident Evil 2. And um, yeah, we might need a little break. And uh, this time I'm gonna play a... Well, you might rec recognize the name. But no, this isn't the same game as I played. I played the PlayStation 1. And now it's time to play the SNES 1. Which happened before the PlayStation. Shut the fuck up, kitty. I love you too. I love you too, you so cute. Don't worry, he's not emaciated or anything. I'm gonna give him food soon. God damn it. So let's start the game. Aren't you guys a little bit confused over the storyline and uh, whatever happened in uh, in my uh, fry, uh, my let's play of the clock tower on the PlayStation well now your questions will be answered and I'm gonna try to get the best ending that explains most of the things I think that hey I think that yeah you can get all these endings and then there's a special ending ending S which is the best one I'm gonna try and get that and I'm going for game start you ready guys let the mood set in. Bart. Well, yes, that's the story. These are four girls from an orphanage, and they're about 15, 14, yeah, I think they're, I think they're 14 years old, around that age. And that lady is their guardian from the orphanage, Miss Mary, and the girl to the left is Jennifer. You, you guys recognize her now? Well, that's Jennifer before she turned all, well, ditzy. And she had a nice dress and a nice blouse. Oh, it's gonna be a very nice place, according to Miss Mary. You better trust her. I would laugh my ass off if she was pointing to the mansion in Resident Evil. Oh well, sorta looks, looks like it. Yes, I'm serious. If I had to move in to the mansion in Resident Evil, I would be so freaking happy. Well, maybe I didn't... I wouldn't want to have the zombies and anything. Anyway. What a huge place. This mansion looks okay too. Oh hey. There's Jennifer and Miss Mary and Anne and Laura, who some people call Rola. I'm gonna call her Laura because that sounds more like... I don't know. Actually, this place takes... This place takes... This game takes place in Norway. Some people might think that it takes place in like the ordinary places for a game to take place. Like, I don't know, America or Japan and whatever. But this actually takes place in Norway, which is cool because I'm... Well, Sweden is uh, neighbors to, the, to Norway, so that's cool. I almost live in the, the same country where Clock Tower takes place. Which means I'm better than you, and I'm gonna go to heaven, and you're not. Anyway, Miss, Mr. Barrows is the man that's supposed to adopt the four girls. Which is kind of weird, you know. Um, one man gonna adopt four teenage girls. Well, and Laura says that this house makes her uneasy. Which is understandable. Let's talk to my favorite character, actually. Let's talk to Lot. And Lot is a girl, if you guys wonder. 
Yeah, lots paranoid. Now <laughs> you're gonna get it for saying that, and yes, this is the beginning of the game. If you choose quick start, you don't have to do the intro to the game, and not this part. What happened to Miss Mary? Yeah, she is taking a long time. Then again, it might be a big mansion, so it's gonna take her some while to walk around. Can you go find Miss Mary? Are you crazy? I think I'm gonna walk around all alone in a mansion. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. How about that improv? So we're off to find Miss Mary. I hope you guys can hear the music. Oh, this place looks... Well, I... Ah! The main hall? Yeah, we just heard a, a, a screaming from it and all the girls are gone. Oh no, it isn't funny. <laughs> Oh, I mean, ha ha ha, oh, hilarious. Anyway, Jennifer thinks that they just, they're just pulling a prank on her. And you can't do more in this room. Over here is the, the main entrance to the house. And guess what? It's locked. What a surprise. Oh, well. Let's go find the girls. I mean... I think they're also just playing pranks on her. You know, living in, in a big mansion and, well, they're gonna get it. Yes, this is the pace that Jennifer is gonna walk. Yes, I know she walks slower than my grandpa. Who isn't dead yet, so I guess, well... Hmm, seems to be a lot of doors in this place. Just... Let's take him out one by one. The lights are out. Where's the switch? Where's the light switch? Yeah. Oh hey, the lights are working. The place is getting a new color. That painting looks weird. I don't like that painting. I've never liked that painting and I don't know why you would put a painting like that in your freaking living room. Oh shit. They're here! Put it out, Jennifer. Why would you put a television over there anyway? You can't... You can't sit in the sofa and look at it. Okay, this is important, guys. Always check the box. And sometimes, or at least, well, empty. Okay, I know what to do, guys, don't worry. I hope I don't get stuck, though. Hey, a table. How cute! I don't know the turbo button for this emulator, guys. So I apologize for that. Anyway, let's go to the next room. This look, looks rather neat, huh? Hey. Hey, a photo. What is this? Okay. It looks like a picture of two babies. Maybe Mr. Barrows had two babies and he lost them. Maybe that's why he wants to adopt these kids. Small bottle of perfume. Hmm. It smells like Miss Mary's. She probably left it here. Oh god! 